you could just, just <laughs> leave like, your black and board over <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Marcus. I've written a couple blogs on the JetPens website. I recently graduated from high school, so today I'll be showing you some of my favorite supplies that got me through school. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more awesome stationery. If I had to recommend just one line of products, it would be the Zebra Sarasa Clip Vintage Gel Pens. These pens contain the classic Sarasa gelling formula in darker, school-appropriate colors. I've personally used all 10 colors in my classes and think they're great options to write in something other than black ink. My favorites are the sepia black and Bordeaux purple pens. Next up is one of our newer products, the Uni Jetstream SXE3 507 3-color ballpoint multi-pen. Multi-pens contain more than one ink color and are great for notes and other tasks that benefit from color coding. Jetstreams are our most popular ballpoint pens because of their smooth, low viscosity ink. This variation contains a larger black ink refill than red and blue, since you'll likely end up using the black color more often. I use this pen in my English class, where my teacher wanted us to color code when analyzing reading passages. My favorite pencil is the Pilot Opt Mechanical Pencil. At first glance, it might not seem like there's anything special about this pencil, but it has a super wide rubber grip that makes it perfect for people with medium size to bigger hands. It has a shaker mechanism that you can use to extend the lead. You can press the top button too. Pilot tested the binder clip and says it can open and close over 100,000 times, which is great because it's super satisfying to click. The eraser that I've stuck with for the past few years is the Sakura Archfilm Eraser. From all the erasers I've tried, this one is the one that erases the cleanest. The shavings also neatly gather into large clumps. The name Arch Foam comes from its curved sleeve that prevents tears and breaks, which has actually happened to me with other erasers. The Uni Propus window highlighters are famous for their double-sided design that feature a window on the chisel tip, which makes it easy to see what you're highlighting. I personally prefer the highlighters from the soft color set, as their lighter colors are not as overwhelming as traditional neon highlighters. Something else I've noticed when using the Propus highlighters is that their bullet tips stay sharp for a lot longer than some other double-sided highlighters. You don't have to worry about making it dull by using it too much. I've been using the Sonic Smasta standing pen case ever since it was released in 2018. After unzipping it, the top folds down and magnetically attaches to the bottom to create a convenient pen stand. There's a small pocket inside with a Velcro fastener where you can store erasers, pencil lead refills, and sticky notes. The case is high quality and mine still looks great after all these years of use. It comes in several different colors and I picked the dark blue version. Of course, we couldn't make a video about stationery for high school students without mentioning the Kokyo Campus Notebooks. There are a ton of different types of notebooks in the Campus Notebook line, including the Smart Ring Binder Notebook, Recycled Paper Notebooks, and 30 sheet and 100 sheet versions. I used the 100 sheet version in my creative writing class this year, and the 30 sheet notebooks are great for making sure you don't waste any paper in classes where you don't do as much writing. The Smart Ring Binder Notebooks have rings that you can open to rearrange and replace paper. They're much thinner than traditional binders, yet have all the same convenient features. Fun fact, a prompt for a college application essay I wrote told applicants to write a letter to their favorite object. So, I wrote to my Smart Ring Binder Notebook. Also from Kokio are the Kokio Soft Ring Notebooks. They have plastic rings that squish when you press down on them, making it more comfortable to write when your hand is over the rings. They won't scratch things inside your backpack or snag onto other notebooks and binders. Combined with their durable covers, this ensures that the notebook is great for use throughout an entire school year. The notebook comes in graph paper, 6mm rule, blank paper, 40 sheet versions, and the SUFA, which is a more premium variation. 
I used the graph paper notebook in my physics class last year. The perforated sheets made it easy to tear out pages that I did my homework problems on. I stored past problem sets in the Colquio Clear folder, which I also kept class handouts and other papers in. If you need some more storage space for papers, the Lehit Lab Lumen Expanding File has you covered. It has five pockets that can each hold around 30 sheets of A4 or letter-sized paper. If you don't completely fill it up, the file folder still stays compact and only takes up as much space as it needs to, making it easy to fit inside a backpack. A simple tab keeps the file folder shut, yet makes it easy to quickly open and close. So those are all my favorite school supplies that I used over the last four years. What are your favorite stationary products that you use in school? Let us know in the comments below. You can find all of these products and more at jetpens.com. Thank you for watching. Pilot tested the binder clip and says it can open... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Because it's super satisfying to click. Sorry, sorry. I mean, like... Is that what you do in class? <laughs> like it is really. Wait, is that also why you like the Sorosa? Oh, don't Yeah, that's how. And then I like the the uni ball, like the one F fans, because oh. those those clips are wire, so they're different <laughs> clips that yeah. you can click. Who is who is the new person? Yeah. <laughs>